All right, we're going to log right into a client account and you're going to see how we're able to get these 80% opt-in rates. Now, this is not normal, but what happens when you have a solid system, when you have a solid process and you have something that you can rely on to bring you results every single day? Let's take a look. Okay, it's a brand new account that we've started to onboard um, as far as the marketing is concerned. And so when we look inside of this particular account, what we want to see is... The conversion rates. I just want to prove to you guys that this thing is possible, man. I mean, it's crazy. Look at this. Last seven days, $117. This is with like maybe 40, 50 bucks a day right now that we're testing with. I think we've gotten up to like 80 bucks a day. Nothing big. Um, I think there's only been a few hundred bucks that has been invested. Maybe two, three hundred bucks invested total. Our cost per lead is coming in at about two dollars and some change. Um, and when you look at the actual conversion rates, let's go ahead and look at the analytics for this. Uh, I mean, look, we have one form, look, 201 visitors, 158, that's over the last 30 days. That is a 79% <laughs> conversion ratio. Let's look at the last seven days, okay? Just because it's, right, like 80%, right? So, I mean, it's really cool when you have something set up. Now, what do you need to get something to look like this? What do you need to get these kinds of results, okay? It doesn't take so much creation. A lot of people out there making endless pieces of content. What you have to have is a plan. You have to know exactly what is it that you need to create so that it's actually being put in front of the right person at the right time. Look, if, if you're doing things and you're trying to attract folks who are you know, ready to make a decision with you today, th that's a problem. That's a big problem. You do want a portion of your marketing to go towards those people, that segment of your market. But 80% or more of your market is going to come from people in stage one and stage two. Okay, stage one, stage two. So what you just saw was a lead magnet that I created for a wine shop, right? An e-commerce wine shop that I'm uh, working with to help build out this lead gen asset so that he can start selling offers whenever he wants. Now, this is to people who are in stage one. These people who are like, hey, look, I don't really know I have a problem. I don't really know what my problem is. I need some help. Once we help identify that problem, we guide them through with our lead magnet, we're gonna start creating additional content. It's gonna be more salesy, right? More, more direct response that's gonna get people to say, hey, look, I wanna make a decision today. But how do we know who to market to? How do we know how can we get this in front of the right people? Well, you test concepts. And you test concepts with what I call sage material. So short, actionable, goal-oriented, and easy-to-consume type of content. That's going to be stage one, folks. Okay, that's all you need to focus on. So I wanted to make this quick video for you so you can see that just with a simple, I think this is a nine uh, cliff notes, so nine answers to questions that would come from my client's mouth because he's been making wine for like, you know, over 30 years. So this is his third or fourth company that he's created. He, he's done really well. They're doing a nice amount without advertising, just from word of mouth and from their live events and everything like that. So... This is gonna be a big pillar, but we don't want to only focus on those that are ready to buy today, as crazy as that sounds. You have to make sure that your concepts, that what you have is gonna be well received by the market because if you spend a lot of time and effort and energy on trying to attract people who are in the you know ready to buy today phase, which is stage five at the very bottom, less than 3% of your market, number one, you can't scale that. So even if you hit it on the head, what are you gonna do? You're gonna tap out. So you've got to make sure that you are generating enough leads from the stage one folks so that a percentage of them are going to come through and do business with you immediately while you're creating a future-proofed business, while you're creating a database that's going to help support your levels of revenue that you see for your business. So if you'd like some help with setting up stage one through stage five, just find the link of the button around this video. I'd love to sit down with you and uh, really go through this with you privately on just a call. I call it my sales and marketing kickoff call. And we'll spend about 30 to 45 minutes together going through everything and building this out for you so you can see what it looks like in your own company. All right, I hope you had some value today and I look forward to seeing you on the call. Take care.